Let's begin our discussion about the Role Mapping Administrator by first looking at really what Identity Manager does. Identity Manager allows us to take users and be able to map them to the different identities or accounts that they have in different systems. Now, these are the real things that we have to deal with, and we ultimately create this relationship or link between them. But in order to make things more effective and more efficient, we use different abstraction points to manage them. For example, there may be many people that need the exact same type of rights. At the same time, there may be the same types of rights that can be granted to multiple types of systems. So there's two different abstraction points that we have within Identity Manager. We have the role-based abstractions, or the roles, where we assign the users to a particular role. And normally there's going to be a list of roles, and there's going to be a bunch of user assignments to said roles. The same way that we have these target systems, and we create entitlements that dictate out what a person could possibly do within them, and there will be multiple entitlements per target system. So again, two different abstraction points. But let's look about how you create that relationship. Now in reality, I can come in and take a user and give them an entitlement, but that doesn't seem very efficient. So what we've done in the past is that an individual has come in to write code. And so they've written out this code that learns how to define or sets the policy up to define this particular link between them. If the code that was being written was only done once and it was never going to change, not such a big deal. The problem is, is that this code has a life cycle of its own, meaning that as things change within the company, new policies, new regulations, whatever it happens to be, I have to continuously, or someone does, has to continuously go through and modify that code. So therefore, what do you wind up with? Well, it takes time, it costs money, and theoretically also can cause risk. What if an individual were to come in and make a mistake with a particular aspect of the code? Well, then we could wind up with people having more rights than they need. One of the key things about Novell is that we look at being secure, not just from all the cryptography, but because we are simple. So simplicity equals secure. So we need to find a way to make this more simple in order to address the problems for administrators and to make sure that the system is easy to manage, cost efficient, less risk, and just make sure that it's more secure because of simplicity. And with the Novell Identity Manager for family of products, we are now beginning to address this. What we've done now with the role mapping administrator, here's the future. With IDM4, with this technology, we're now able to go through, define a very simple query, again, in a point-and-click fashion. Nobody has to come up and write any special code. We're just simply creating a query through point-and-click interfaces that will then list out all the different entitlements and things of that nature within the system, whether I'm looking at a particular system or all of them. I can then go through and define the mapping, which is what the code used to do. It used to do both of these particular aspects. And then at that point, Identity Manager can go ahead and execute that using its automated engine or the workflow components or things of that nature. So again, much simpler. Somebody wants to come through and make a change, they simply modify these three aspects, the query, the mapping, or what has to happen when we execute. Very simple procedure, again, going to the fact that it's simpler, therefore it's secure. So this is the future with IDM4. So then what's the benefit really to the customer? Well, first of all, no coding is a key aspect of this. Again, it's simple. Second, they see the current state of the assignments. No more they have to go and run a report, but they can look inside the same interface and they can see exactly what the current assignments are. And third, this allows them to have those quick changes, thereby reducing the cost and the risk for the company. So if we go back to Novell's advantages to the customer, its real difference, again, software acquisition costs, they're typically going to be a third of the cost no matter what happens. What Novell is doing with this type of tool and the rest of its advantages is helping with that back end two thirds, the deployment and the maintenance of it. And the role mapping administrator fits perfectly into that. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this Chalk Talk today. This has been Justin Taylor with Novell, wishing you happy selling.